I've ordered out 20 of the last 30 days. Is this a problem? Listen, buddy, you do you, okay? It's a little, it's a little much for me, but I was laughing because Apollo was talking about in the Discord. He was talking about how much he hates his DoorDash drivers, and he's like, "I'm not gonna use the exact phrasing he did. I'll, I'll encapsulate it in his sentiment." But he was like, "It pisses me off. Like I order the DoorDash. Chibli, were you here for this?" It's like it pisses me off. I order the DoorDash, and they say they're gonna be here in like 20 minutes, and then the dude takes another order on a different app so that he goes to pick that up and he doesn't come here till like an hour later and the food is already cold by the time it gets here. And I was just interfacing with them and I was like, I feel you. I basically stopped using all the delivery apps because I, what I said was I got tired of paying $40 for food that costs $20 that is worth $10. Not to mention that sometimes you're like, I'm hungry and then you order it and it's like, the latest delivery is 7.05 and then the shit shows up at your door at like 7.46 or something like that. But then, I don't know, like he's a friend of mine, right? I was trying to relate to him, but he said, I feel you, dude, I wish that was an option for me. And I was like, it is only because we're friends that I'm not gonna, and because I got shit to do, but we're not gonna delve deeper into that question, okay? I've got questions about that. I'm just gonna let the questions simmer there. But it, for me, that was a bit of a, a Basil exposition, like, you know, it turns out Vanessa was a fembot. Yes, we knew all along, sadly. We're just gonna let that one simmer. Because I trust him, I, tr I trust him that... You know what it is? It's not that he is incapable of cooking his own food. It's that he should be allowed to complain about a minor inconvenience of using DoorDash, but also in his life still have DoorDash be what feels for him to be the best solution to the problem of how, of how to get food. Sometimes even the best solution is like, uh, is imperfect, you know? We should we, we, we just relate to one another. You can complain. Sometimes people just want to vent, exactly. So said Pistris the Third, and so say I as well. Just live with your parents. Bro, I didn't appreciate it when I lived with my mom. That way, my, my dad was there too, for the record. <laughs> but she did, like, most of the cooking. She really fucking nailed it, bro. It was, like, 17, 18 years of dinner, like, every night. There wasn't, like, a single night where she was like, I don't really feel up to it tonight. Eat chips. That's crazy. She had, like, an 18-year Iron Man streak. And I didn't appreciate it at all. I would never talk back to my mom like this, but, you know, dinner was normally at 6. Sometime, if it was like 6.08, I'd be like, whoa, she's really slacking. <laughs> mom, I plan my night around dinner being at 6, okay? I haven't queued for another game of Madden yet because I thought you were going to call me to dinner. Now I'm just sitting here. Again, I would never say that to her, but in my stupid ass, like, 16-year-old brain, that's where my, my head was at. You can always rebuild the meter. Exactly. That's why when your bank account's full, you gotta spend some money. Otherwise, it just, I don't know, it's probably how the bank gets paid. You're like, what the hell, bro? I thought I just deposited a check. And they're like, oh, sorry, your account was full. That's why I give subs. Librarian, I was, I mean, you, I'm sure you saw, you got shooters everywhere. Did you see Talia say, can I say something? And then uh, talk about how you've gifted too many subscriptions. And then I replied to them eight hours later and said, user was banned for this post. Like, come on. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? You're totally blowing up my spot. They're right. Yeah, but don't say it. Like if your friend comes, you know what it is? It's like that Am I the asshole where the... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is like it exists in my ancient memory. It's the one where... You went to like a, a party and there was a party sub there. That was six feet long. And then like everybody ate as much sandwich as it seemed like they wanted. And then the dude then ate three extra feet of sandwich. And when the girl who ordered it came home, she was like, where's the rest of the sandwich? And the guy was like, 
oh, it didn't seem like anybody else wanted it, so I just ate the whole thing. And he was like, you, or she was like, you ate like a meter of sandwich, like by yourself? That's so inconsiderate of you. Like we have other people coming and like blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I guess it's not really like that at all. I just wanted an opportunity to bring it up again. This is a staggering amount of sandwich to eat. How do you eat a meter of sandwich? I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I could eat three Subway footlongs in a single sitting. I'm a pretty hungry boy, but I would do it like in my own room. <laughs> not, <laughs> not at the damn Super Bowl Sunday party that I got invited to via work or something like that. I can barely eat one. I'm talking about like the human limit for me. I can definitely, there's, Times where I'll eat a full, I mean, I haven't been to Subway ever since I recognized that it's ass and is also too expensive for how ass it is, but regardless, I am glad they don't sell a larger sub because I would be the guy ordering, I, would, I don't think I'd order an 18 incher from Subway, but there's times I would be like, come on, give me like a 15 incher. I could eat a foot long and then like another quarter of a foot long. And then also have the chips in the drink. And then I would be like really, really full. But there were times I would finish a foot long and this is more like a problem with the human brain probably. And then be like, you know what? I could go for a little more. The difference is that I would never order it. Because once you, you know, wanting it is one thing. You can recognize that, but then Getting it, you know, you're the person in charge. You got to be the grown-up and say, my ass is not eating 1.25 Subway footlongs for lunch. It's too much. Now, what that means to me is that I feel like I could eat... If I can easily eat one, I feel like I could maximally eat three. And it would... I mean, it would be like a special day. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. <laughs> like, there would have to be some kind of reward on the other side. Because the I wouldn't consider the task itself to be the reward. How many Peloton rides is three subs? It's a lot. Probably be like ten half-hour rides. But we're, we're past that now. We're, in a, we're living in an age of abundance. We see food as fuel, not as something that we burn off on the bike. Not being able to eat a whole footlong sandwich is big. I need my wife to warn me when there's a sex scene at the movies type of energy. Listen, I'm going to plus to you because the sentence is funny. But we as a, as a culture need to stop equating having a large appetite with being inherently masculine. Ain't nothing masculine about eating like a whole family sized bag of Doritos. Like... It's just shameful. I say that as someone who's probably done it more than most people in this chat. <laughs> Sometimes it do be kind of what the doctor ordered. Well, not the doc, like a real doctor, but definitely not a dentist. They would be like, bro, you got so much nacho cheese on your, <laughs> on your teeth. Are you okay? <laughs> well, it's crazy to think, you know, what? Some insane stat, like half of men die of heart disease or something like that. I want to talk to them and at the pearly gates and be like, why'd you eat so much? They, I didn't want to be, seem like a puss at the barbecue. At least, like, I, if they were like, I'm bored, I would be like, okay, that's, I can relate with that. <laughs> it's higher for single men versus married men, too. I think about that a lot. Well, I'm dead. Um, and it makes perfect sense, to be honest with you. If you, even, I look at my friends, and it's not one-to-one. -one. My friends who are married, their lifestyle versus my friends who are single, you can see why there's like an average of like a five or six year difference in lifespan. Not all single men are the same, and not all married men are the same. But if you, my, my wife pulled me out of my early 20s lifestyle, which is very damaging, you know, bad food, too much drinking, too much snacking, not enough sleep, etc., etc. 
She turned me into like a, a normal functioning adult, essentially. And some people are living that life when they're single. Like I think Malv kind of lived that life when he was single. Woo! But a lot of guys don't. <laughs> A lot of guys, in fact, in my opinion, not to judge, but are like, I will do anything in my life to, like, not ever go to that domesticated sort of lifestyle. And I'm like, brother, we're like, you know, dogs. If the dogs didn't get domesticated, they'd all be fucking gone or like wolves or what maybe we're like cows i don't really know i'm just saying it's better to be livestock than to be extinct <laughs> you, there, there won't be too many great american novels written about that sentiment maybe the metaphor fell apart i'm just saying i definitely think being married added like another well you know on a individual basis you never know because you could just get hit by a bus but the difference in lifestyle between single and married my personal experience is definitely like it changed my life insurance premium <laughs> it's not that easy to get married i'm everything i say is not prescriptive for your life okay i'm just i'm just talking about my lived experience that being said, you are 23. Just fucking chill out, bro. It's not 1914, you know? You got plenty of time. Like a little baby still. What about me? I'm 37. It's the it's the 40-year-old virgin bit. Sex is in everything, Andy. How old are you anyway? 26, 27? I just turned 40. Oh, you gotta get on that shit, brother. <laughs> Wait, Librarian actually ate three subs? No shot, bro. No shot. You being serious or, or is this a ruse? You thought it was a bit? I just can't believe you're asking them back to Subway again. You could have just gotten a cookie from anywhere and then would have saved you a lot of money and a little bit of stomach space too. Did you really get three foot long sandwiches though? Like that's just... Four nons, Jeremy. Four nons? That's obscene. They just tweeted it. Son of a bitch. That means I gotta get three and a half subs. Now we're all sons of bitches. He really thinks he's Oppenheimer. Bro really wants to go band for band at the damn Doctors Associates Subway Incorporated. Pretty soon Burkholz is gonna make a leaderboard for the... <laughs> subscriber... Submarine Sandwich Challenge. You can become a real human. Right after our two hours of riding in the morning. Okay, I'm starting on sandwich number one, guys. Remember, pace yourselves. You know, if you want to stick around for all four sandwiches, we don't want you dying on sandwich three. Take small, manageable bites. Bring lots of fluids. Did you at least go out for the Subway sandwiches? I see them in that paper bag. Was that a DoorDash order? You went out. Okay, I respect that. Did you guys see the video of the DoorDash uh, interaction where the dude opens up the pizza box and there's four slices missing? DoorDash fucked me. Domino's fucked me. Or you fucked me. I don't know who fucked you, but I didn't fuck you. I didn't fuck you, okay? And he goes like, either you fucked me or DoorDash fucked me or Domino's fucked me. And then the driver goes... I don't know, maybe DoorDash fucked you, maybe Domino's fucked you, I didn't fuck you, you know what, where I think the slices are? Look at your belly, you fat pig, I think you ate the slices and then you film it, try to... And who, 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 who knows? Maybe you know what, let me tell you one thing, let me tell you one thing. Maybe, when I give you pizza, you open the pizza and put the pizza fucking in your stomach, right? Look at this, your pig stomach. How big it is? How big it is? It is pizza there, right there, okay? You think I'm gonna fucking eat the pizza and then come have- this? Yes! Yes, I know you! I know! Look at your teeth, bro! Pizza still falling out! You know? All the cheese falling from face, from your mouth, and it going in the, in the fucking stomach! Domino fucked me! You fucked me! DoorDash fucked me! I'm gonna sue every fucking buddy! Don't fuck them! Sue them! Fuck them! Don't fuck with me, okay? Bye bye! I'm going out! I'm going out! Don't come back again, okay? Eat whatever you have! Bye bye! It's so good, the way he goes like right for the dude's throat. 
And then the guy, the guy is also going insane for the record. But he goes like, I'm going to sue everybody. I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue Dornash. I'm going to sue Domino. So the dude just throws up his hands and goes like, I think they're in your belly, but don't sue me. Sue Dornash, sue Domino's. All right, I got to go. Have a nice day. Like he just walks away. Based, he ate that shit for sure. I mean, come on. <laughs> Duh. I love it when you suck me like that and when you close it. Give me the shivers, two, three, and baby, we're gonna go till I split your crack. And when you see the body's over, then you throw it right back. Cause I said, ooh, something said that, that was I close? He doesn't say that. He says something like that. You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you suck me off, I go. And don't ever look, baby, with your ripped up jeans and your skin tight jeans and your teenage jeans tonight. That's a banger, too. But you didn't have to suck me off. Put my underpants down and throat my member. But you didn't have to bite it off. And spit it out and get me feel so low. <laughs> what? Something like it's so. I didn't write the song, dude. It's something like that, okay? Leave those parodies to Justin. I still think about it every time I hear the song, which is like every 80s ride on Peloton. John Cougar Mellencamp's uh, Jack and Diane. Sucking off chili dudes inside the morgue's deep freeze. Jack's wearing a winter coat. He's got a pillow underneath his knees. Let them rock, let them roll. Let the Bible Belt come and save my soul. I think about your pisses on my lips like all the time. Because your piss, your piss is on my lips. Because your piss, your piss, I can't resist. Because your piss is on my lips. When I turn out the lights <laughs> I have Vanessa Carlton's song stuck in my head Except it's Sucking a dick downtown Sucking fast Stations past and I'm homebound And I throat you I don't know why I'm using throat I guess because you, you need a lot of synonyms for suck In order to make the song feel clever and I piss you. Do, 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 do.